I was reading something the other day um, from one writer, and he, and he compares how this filters down to your and I life when it's religion versus the gospel. He says, in religion, I obey, therefore I'm accepted. Right? That's how many of us still live, even if we're Christians. But the gospel says, I'm accepted, therefore I obey. Religion says, my motivation in life is based on fear and insecurity. God is going to get me. Bad things are going to happen to me, so I better do this. In the gospel, our motivation is based on grateful joy of what Jesus Christ has done, and then we live from that place. In religion, I obey God in order to get things from God. You've heard this preached. If you do these things, God will bless you with wealth and health and security and prosperity and life. And, and, but if you don't, in the gospel, I obey God to get God, to delight and resemble him. In religion, in the old stone water jars version of ourselves, when circumstances in my life go wrong, I'm angry at God or myself since I believe like Job's friends that anyone who is good deserves a comfortable life. That's the construct of religious thinking. Even if you're not formally religious, if you're sitting there going, oh, I don't, look, good thing I don't belong to a formal religion. No, you do. Even if you're an atheist, you think you deserve a comfortable life that the universe owes it to you because you're a good person. I've asked many, many people who don't have anything to do with God. Why, why do you think you're going to go to heaven when you die? Because I'm a good person, because I'm not Hitler. And because I'm not Hitler, I deserve a comfortable life. In the recesses of your brain, that's what we think. It's religion. The gospel says, when circumstances in my life go wrong, I struggle, but I know that while God may allow this for my training, he will exercise his fatherly love within my trial. In religion, when I'm criticized, think about it. You, you've been criticized lately? I'm furious or I'm devastated. I mean, I just look at my social media page. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be devastated or furious and angry and go in a corner and twist my hair and be like, Nee! Because it is essential for me to think of myself as a good person, right? So when someone offends you or says you didn't cr criticize you, you're like, I, you freak out because you have to be a good person. Threats to that self-image must be destroyed at all costs. In the gospel, when I'm criticized, I struggle, but it's not essential for me to think of myself as a good person. My identity is not built on my performance, but on God's love for me in Christ. In religion, my prayer life consists of petition and only heats up when I am in need. My main purpose in prayer is to control circumstances. Do you feel yourself doing that? See, these are impulses, our religious impulses. In the gospel, my prayer life consists of generous stretches of praise and adoration for who God is, and my main purpose in praying is fellowship with him. See, that's the difference. And Jesus Christ has come to give this new way of being human. This is how beautiful it is.